How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Mm. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's go, boy. Good boy. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a place right now. Damn, It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me! Yep. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. 
Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch to God damn it, Arthur! A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Okay, let's get after him. We're gonna have to shoot our way up there! up this way. Come on. Charles, 
shoot. Take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these hijo putas. God damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound? Let's get Sean and get out of here. Are you going to get me down from here? What are y'all doing?
Well, one of you who's helped me yes, out sir. here. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. Time to go, boy. Oh, he's... Hijo 
de puta madre! Your damn hand. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished? Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? I check. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Uh, check. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Uh, how about that? Okay. 
Okay. Here, look. Hardly a big finale for me. Not looking good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come to me. <clears throat> Wish I'd got your friend to bless my hand before he passed out. Come on. No. Now, don't get too worried. I ain't buying that. All right, what do we got? Here. Christ. You're looking worried, my friend. Damn it. <laughs> well, gentlemen, time to move along. Aw, oh, hell. You're one lucky son of a bitch, you know that? Oh, I'm surely a son of a bitch, but lucky? <laughs> I ain't so sure. Come on, you. Let's move along. Where is he? Who? The Reverend. Where'd he go? I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of... Crazy, mister. No, you have no idea. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. I'll kill you both. You're going down. Is that all you... Damn fools! Oh my god! You killed him! I'm gonna get the law on you!
freeze. Take one more. You're a dead man. You understand me? Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Have you lost your mind? Come on! A friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, 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 oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. <sighs>
was wondering when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Javier. Karen. Hi, Karen. Okay, fella. Just be wandering around here, friend. Right there. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi there. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? 
to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs>